What a terrible way to end this WNBA season. The conclusion of the WNBA season was marred by controversy as ESPN unveiled shocking allegations of a rigged finals, igniting intense discussions across the sports community. At the heart of this scandal was Liberty's Brianna Stewart, whose two seemingly convenient free throws secured Liberty's first ever championship. However, the real bombshell revealed that these free throws were not mere coincidences. According to ESPN, WNBA referees were biased against the Lynx, undermining a team that had genuinely earned its spot in the finals. This revelation has left fans and players questioning the integrity of the league, suggesting that if such officiating continues, the WNBA could face significant credibility issues. The crux of the controversy revolves around the final moments of the decisive game. With the Liberty trailing by two points and only six seconds remaining, Stewart received the ball. In a move that defied conventional basketball strategy, she took four to five steps without dribbling and casually moved towards the basket. Under normal circumstances, this would result in a traveling violation. However, the referees overlooked this blatant infraction, allowing Stewart to shoot and make both free throws, tying the game and sending it into overtime. Liberty ultimately capitalized on this momentum surge to clinch the championship, but not without casting a shadow over the league's fairness. This officiating fiasco wasn't an isolated incident, but part of a broader pattern of questionable calls that have plagued the WNBA. Caitlin Clark, already beleaguered by dubious referee decisions, found herself further sidelined, fueling doubts among players about the league's commitment to fair play. The situation escalated to the point where even NB superstar LeBron James weighed in, criticizing the referees on social media. He tweeted, I'm sorry, but that wasn't a foul. Let the players dictate the outcome of a close battle signaling his disapproval of the WNBA's officiating standards. Breaking down the WNBA finals reveals a series of officiating errors that collectively undermine the integrity of the game. Stewart's critical foul call with seconds left was just the beginning. As Liberty moved into overtime, Stewart's nonchalant movement without dribbling should have resulted in a travel violation. Instead, the referees ignored the blatant breach, allowing her to score free throws that tied the game. This oversight not only altered the course of the game, but also cast doubt on the legitimacy of Liberty's championship win. The aftermath of the game saw Liberty celebrating their victory, while Lynx fans and neutral observers were left in disbelief. Stewart's free throws, deemed too convenient by many, were seen as pivotal moments where the referees' biases tilted the scales in Liberty's favor. Social media erupted with fans questioning the fairness of the outcome, debating whether they had just witnessed one of the most blatant cases of rigged sports events in recent memory. The final score of 60-58, decided by six free throws in the dying seconds, highlighted the extent to which officiating errors can influence the outcome of a tightly contested game. Adding fuel to the fire, Stewart's traveling incident during the final seconds was another glaring example of poor officiating. Despite taking multiple steps without dribbling, the referees failed to call a travel violation, allowing Stewart to continue her play. Her subsequent shot, followed by the free throws, seemed to be a scripted outcome rather than the result of genuine athletic competition. This blatant disregard for basic basketball rules not only frustrated Lynx fans, but also raised serious questions about the referees' impartiality. The referees justified their questionable decisions by citing obscure rules, such as Alana Smith not being in a legal guarding position. This explanation only deepened the frustration among fans and players, as it appeared to be a stretch of the rules rather than a legitimate interpretation. The use of such rarely invoked rules in a high-stakes game further eroded trust in the officiating standards of the WNBA, making it seem as though referees were manipulating outcomes rather than upholding the spirit of the game. The disparity in free-throw opportunities between Liberty and Lynx was another point of contention. 
Liberty amassed an astonishing 25 free throw attempts compared to Lynx's mere eight. This imbalance not only skewed the final score, but also distorted the nature of the competition, transforming what should have been a strategic battle into a game dominated by free throw execution. Liberty's ability to repeatedly capitalize on free throws undermined the Lynx's efforts to maintain their rhythm and control, effectively turning the game into a free throw contest rather than a showcase of skill and strategy. The overemphasis on free throws for Liberty while denying Lynx adequate opportunities was seen as a clear indicator of biased officiating. Liberty's dominance at the free throw line allowed them to rack up points effortlessly overshadowing Lynx's hard-earned efforts. This imbalance highlighted a systemic issue within the refereeing standards of the WNBA, where favoritism and inconsiderate call-making can drastically alter the outcome of crucial games. NBA stars were quick to voice their disapproval of the WNBA Finals officiating. LeBron James led the charge, criticizing the referees for their biased calls and questioning the fairness of the game. His outspoken stance was supported by other prominent NBA players like Damian Lillard and Isaiah Thomas, who also took to social media to condemn the referees' performance. Lillard remarked, The refs knew the assignment in the second half, implying that the officiating was deliberately skewed in Liberty's favor. Isaiah Thomas added fuel to the fire by tweeting, The refs Loki cheated for New York, a statement that resonated with countless fans who felt similarly aggrieved. The collective outcry from NBA players and fans underscored the severity of the issue, transforming the WNBA finals from a celebrated sporting event into a spectacle of alleged corruption. The backing of high-profile athletes like LeBron James and Damian Lillard amplified the criticism, making it clear that the WNBA's officiating problems are not going unnoticed by the broader sports community. Their statements served as a rallying cry for fans who felt that the integrity of the league was being compromised by biased refereeing. The backlash wasn't limited to player and fan reactions. Liberty's coach, Cheryl Reeve, also publicly criticized the referees. In her post-game comments, Reeve lambasted the officials for their inconsistent calls and questioned the effectiveness of the challenge rules. Her public takedown of the referees highlighted the frustration and disappointment felt by those directly involved in the game further validating the widespread concerns about officiating standards in the WNBA. The ramifications of this officiating debacle extend beyond a single game or season. If such bias calls continue, the WNBA risks losing its credibility and alienating both players and fans. Players like Caitlin Clark, who have already been affected by questionable calls, might reconsider their participation in the league if they perceive it as unfair or rigged. This could lead to a talent drain, weakening the league's competitive edge, and further diminishing its reputation. Moreover, the perception of rigged outcomes can deter potential sponsors and investors who may hesitate to associate with a league plagued by controversy. The integrity of sports relies heavily on the belief that outcomes are determined by skill, strategy, and fair play. When officiating is called into question, it undermines this foundation, making it difficult for the league to attract and retain talent, fans, and financial support. The WNBA must address these officiating issues head-on to restore trust and credibility. Implementing more rigorous training and evaluation processes for referees, increasing transparency in officiating decisions, and ensuring accountability for biased calls are crucial steps toward rebuilding the league's integrity. Additionally, revising challenge rules to prevent abuse and ensure fair play can help mitigate future controversies. Fan engagement and feedback should also play a role in this reform process. Creating platforms for fans to voice their concerns and suggestions can provide valuable insights into how officiating can be improved. By actively involving the community in these discussions, the WNBA can demonstrate its commitment to fairness and transparency, fostering a more positive relationship with its audience. 
Furthermore, leveraging technology such as instant replay and advanced analytics can enhance the accuracy of officiating decisions. These tools can help referees make more informed calls, reducing the likelihood of human error and bias. Incorporating these technologies into the game can also provide fans with a clearer understanding of the decisions being made, increasing overall satisfaction and trust in the officiating process. In conclusion, the WNBA Finals controversy has exposed significant flaws in the league's officiating standards, casting a shadow over its credibility and future prospects. The bias calls and questionable refereeing decisions not only affected the outcome of the finals, but also damaged the league's reputation among players and fans. The public outcry, amplified by influential NB stars, underscores the urgent need for reform within the WNBA to ensure fair play and restore trust in the league's integrity. Without addressing these issues, the WNBA risks losing its competitive edge and the support of its dedicated fan base. Moving forward, it is imperative for the league to implement